big fight that was announced this week was uh, Lomachenko versus Jorge Linares. Wicked fight. It was actually last week, but don't worry about it. No, but it got official yeah, yeah, yeah. in the sense okay. that yeah. they've, they've yeah. told the yeah. venue and the date. Um, in regards to that fight, how do you see that fight going? And secondly, taking into consideration that Linares has split up with his uh, trainer Ismail Salas leading up to this fight as well, how do you see the fight playing? Listen, out? Ismail Salas is an excellent trainer, right? But I'm not, even, I'm not even looking at them. I'm saying this. I think that Lomachenko is very, very special, right? Um, and he does things that are actually genius. Can he do it against somebody who's actually the physically bigger man? I believe he can because he boxes a lightweight in the amateurs. So, and I would give him the edge in this fight, and I would, I could actually maybe see him a, a, a very, very wide pointsman, very wide. That's not like 118, 111 to, to Lomachenko. I think he's that good. I don't, I don't necessarily think that he could. Maybe you know what? In fact, I think Lomachenko could stop him. Puglinar has been down quite a few times and stuff like that. Maybe you could stop him. Puglinar is a good fighter. Though, don't has he been impressive in his last couple of fights? Who? Linares. Linares. Well, the Luke Campbell fight, you've got to think what Luke Campbell was fighting at the time. Luke Campbell, is, I'm coming to win this world title. So, he was impressive in that fight. He, he, he impresses me. He's a, he's, a, he's a very, very good fighter. Man, you can't say that. Jorge Linares is an excellent fighter. You know what I mean? Um, and one of, I would say top 10 pound for pound. And that's why, but you'll find someone very, very special in the Matrix. And that's why I would have Lomachenko win that fight. Talk about Lomachenko though, every time his name's mentioned and him moving up the weights, he's been filtering through them weights slowly, slowly. A name that always pops out that could cause him trouble is Mikey Garcia. If they were to potentially fight at lightweight, what would happen? What would you, you mean, say? If it's a lightweight Mikey Garcia, you know what I mean? That when he when he when he won the world title, then I I would favour Mikey Garcia to win that because he can punch and he's got he's very astute. But there is something special in, in sorry, there is something special in Lomachenko that I think I mean but that would be a great fight. I wasn't too impressed with Mikey Garcia in his last out. Um, I think you're staying in range too long and stuff like that. And to me that shows like you ain't meant to be boxing at super lightweight. You're meant to be boxing at lightweight.